For quite some time, my uh, Holy DOM tool has been uh, supporting uh, Jira. So with Jira here, you can uh, specify Jira rules, you can also have decoders, and you can print uh, the Jira strings. And that is not something special for my Holy DOM tool. Several of my other DOM tools also support uh, Jira rules. And I made some uh, small changes. So let's take a look. I have here a, a simple Jara rule that will just look for the string attrib. And then I run this with Ole dump on that sample. I get this as output. So all the streams here, all the individual streams are scanned by the Jara engine. And it found two hits here in the macro uh, streams. And uh, for your information, it is not the decompressed macro streams. It is the raw uh, compressed macro streams that are passed to the Jara engine. So inside those two streams, the test rule has uh, triggered. So the attrib keyword was found. Now what is new is this here. What do I do now also is I will decompress all VBA source code. So in this case from those two streams, I will decompress all VBA source code, concatenate, concatenate it together, and then also run Jara rules on those uh, source code lines that have uh, all been concatenated together. Now this means that um, you have to write specific rules, Jara rules, for, for the source code. But if you specify them with uh, Jara here in OLEDump, uh, they will not only run on the source code, but they will run on all the streams. And, and sometimes that might give uh, false positives, and that's uh, not something we want. So I started to use uh, external variables. Jara supports uh, external variables, and external variables are variables that are assigned a value outside of uh, the Jara rule. So for example, in the Jara engine. And here, Ole Dump will uh, assign two external variables. One is called VBA in uppercase, and that is a Boolean. And VBA is true for this VBA source code, while it is false for all the other streams. And another um, variable, external variable that is uh, declared is the one that contains the name of the stream. So that's the stream name. So if we make a small change to our test Jara here, and we say the external variable has to be true and we need to find the string. So VBA uppercase the external variable that is true when we are scanning VBA source code. And now when I run this again, you see it doesn't hit on those streams here, but it uh, hits on the decoded VBA source code. Now I have made some more interesting v Jara rules for VBA. A Jara rule that will detect auto open or document open. Another one create object and get object. One for declare and one for the run method. So if we run this on our sample. Okay, so we get three hits, auto run object and run method. Okay, so we know that there is in the VBA code here a call to execute something automatically, that objects uh, are used, and that the run method is called. Now to have more specifics, you can uh, use the Jara strings options to see what strings were matched, like this. And then we see that it was a document open that was matched, a create object and a dot run.